lady then i want you to move a little bit to the left so i can take a great picture of you can you move to to the left a little bit all right say cheese there we go right everybody else smile say cheese again one more time oh this was not even on okay say cheese one more time all right one more time great stuff i'm gonna save this to my uh um uh, you know list of things that i'm doing for my media company guys i really really am excited about today's topic and i can see matthew is in the house samantha is in there yes i did take a photo of you guys thank you so much guys for tuning in great my name is prosper taruinga by the way founder and ceo of live long digital and if this is your first time around here all right, I've just taken a photo of you so that I can keep it to my own memory and I can repost it a little bit later on. I see Brendan Tan has just tuned in. Ruta, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're talking about something that is right in front of your face, something that you are seeing every day but you haven't actually grasped or you haven't actually fathomed what it actually is. All right, before we go any further, I wanna tell you why I'm telling you this and why you should stick with me for the next 30 minutes. It's because I want you to start making money in your business with less struggle and to gain a lot more recognition than you are at the moment within your business and the industry that you love. And uh, uh, look, uh, Matthew says lunch with prospects. That's, that's pretty good. All right. So obviously, like I'm saying, I know that right now you've probably started a new business or you've had it for quite a while. You've got an amazing product that you absolutely adore and you've figured out who should buy it, how you should sell it and who should be involved in the marketing procedures, right? Michael, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying, um, you know, the new lifestyle. You recently got married, right? Okay, so you figured out who should buy it. You figured out how you should sell it and how you should package it. All of that stuff is small and it's nitty gritty. How are you bringing it to the people? How are people going to know about its existence is the next problem, okay? So you probably are ready to get you know, into sales. You're probably ready to bring in, in the customers. Then you want to now decide which is the best platform? Is it gonna be Facebook? Is it gonna be YouTube? Is it gonna be Snapchat? Or is it gonna be Instagram that you're gonna use? It's become so big and so um, confusing that it is the one thing that we all forget to look into. You need to accept that you are no longer just a business person, but you are now also a media house, all right? You are now a media house producing the content so that you can educate your customers, so that you can um, validate your own unique proposition because people need to learn who you are. People need to know how your product is going to help them and people need to know how all of this is going to fit into their grand scheme of plans or how they want to live a comfortable life. Now, you are going to have to educate your customers. You are going to have to position yourself as the person that can solve those problems. And how do you do this? You're going to be able to do it through content. Now, when you notice, when we started the show, I started off with a camera, okay? And I know every single person now has one of these so that they can create content um, for their business so that, you know, they, they create stories around what it, whatever it is that they're talking about. The bar of entry into this space has become so low that if you are not producing quality content, if you are not producing quality videos, if you are not producing quality books, ebooks, or stories or vlogs, then you are just going to be a one hit wonder or nobody's going to take you seriously or take notice of whatever it is that you're doing. So this show today is designed 
to help you get clarity on what exactly you should do now that you are first of all a media house and second of all your particular job that you're doing all right i know people that are watching this are probably a photographer or they're probably a graphic designer like matthew they're probably um, a coach they're probably a consultant they're probably um, a doctor a lawyer they're probably a graphic design expert but how are people going to know what you do for them if you are not putting word out there about what you do? How are people going to know what you do if you're not educating them about your services, educating them about your discounts, on how you're different and why they should use you? All right? You are actually going to have to accept the fact that you are a media company first and then your profession later. All right, because if you cannot bring up your message, if people don't understand what you do, they're not going to have a need or they're going to not know what to do when they see your stuff in their newsfeed. All right, there's been a lot of changes. I mean, ever since I think it was 1962 or whatever it is, when, you know, the whole Internet was sort of first used by the American army. Now, that created a paradigm shift that left everybody else either becoming a producer of content or a consumer of content. Now, you're going to have to decide which side of the pendulum you really want to stick around to because a producer of content is always on the offense, is always giving value, is always helping other people realize what their product does and how it can help them. A consumer, like most of us, we're always reading, we're always liking, copying, following, pasting, whatever you're doing, other people's content. Well, where does that leave you? It leaves you in a position of not being able to implement all that stuff because you get overwhelmed. All right. You should also be producing that same content so that people get to know, like and trust you. And as we all know, people do business with those that they know, like and trust. All right. So what are you doing right now in your business? And how are you doing? What are you doing in your business right now to actually create content at a level of being a media house? All right. You might, it, it might sound like it's, it's very... Um, or Vazilas, or it's, it's quite a big call or big tall order to ask, but let's look at what media was before and how people were putting out messages out there. Were people not putting out messages through books? Were people not putting out messages through newspapers? Were people not putting out their um, you know business or selling their stuff through magazines, through film, maybe some sound recordings? or radio, or television, etc., etc. Has that not changed into blogs? Has that not changed into, you know, normal pictures? Has that not changed into podcasts? Has that not changed into um, a vlog that people can watch and actually, you know, get information and be entertained and educated at the same time? Has that not shifted into that? All right. Have you not seen people that you are in the same level with putting out blogs, putting out, you know, that kind of content and getting likes, shares and all that stuff just because they're putting out content out there. All right. So if you're not doing that for your customers, you might be missing out on a lot. All right. Now, um, Seba says, think and grow rich video. I'm watching now for inspiration and content. <laughs> Thank you so much. So now the new paradigm is to actually start treating your business as a media company first. Because even if you go onto Instagram, if you're putting out mediocre photos, that's why you're not getting the likes, that's why you're not getting the interaction, that's why you're not getting the followers. If you go on Facebook, if your content or your status updates or your um, you know, blogs or whatever you're doing are of lesser quality than whatever is on the newsfeed, that's why you're not getting shares, that's why people are not looking at your stuff and that's why you're not getting conversions. All right? So you really now need to step up and start looking at yourself as a media house. Look at what your strengths are. What are you actually really, really good at? All right. A few large organizations might um, have intimidated you or are making a difference by actually showing up in your newsfeed. And there we are. We're consuming their content instead of us, uh, you know, also producing content so that our customers know who we are. 
Gone are the days where people would just maybe see a Facebook ad and be excited about it and then go in and convert. I think you really, really, really need to figure out who you are producing this content for and what do they want and actually go in there and start creating stuff for them. Yeah. All right. So that's that's the part about you becoming, you know, the media house because the, the social dynamics have totally changed. You know what I mean? I think there's 2 billion people that are now prevalent on Facebook as we speak at the moment. All right. I'm not saying you should go out and, 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 and find every one of those 2 billion people. But like what N7 says, you need to find your audience. Yeah. So it does say that one in about 11 people on this entire planet, I think one in about four or one in about five now, is actually actively using Facebook and one in about 11 has a Facebook profile. Yeah. So, you know, everyone that you know has an email account and they likely, you know, are using that to consume content from other people. How are you delivering your message? How are you packaging your, your message so that people are constantly consuming your content? All right. This is where I said now you have to change that paradigm shift into thinking of yourself as a media house. All right. Because if you're not putting out stuff there, you're not educating your content, your, 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 your customers, you're not, you know, showing them who you are. You can't cry foul when there's no conversions on your, on your website. All right. This means that your customers don't know enough about you to give you their credit card. All right. In the process of them coming in, maybe through an ad or through whichever way you need to nurture them so that they get to know who you are in the process. You communicate with them. They consume your content and they're acquiring news because people are coming to the Internet to get either two or three of these things that I'm about to mention. People come to the Internet to get information. People come to the Internet to get entertained and people come to the Internet to buy stuff. Most of the things that we're doing falls into any of these categories. So you should ask yourself every single day, what are you doing to fulfill any of those three needs that people need when they come to the Internet? Are you communicating enough? Are people consuming any of your stuff before you push in them for, 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 for a sale? Are they acquiring news from your brand? All right, because if you're not giving them the news about the products or what they need or you're not educating them enough about what to want, they're not going to know what it is that they want. And they're not going to know that they want it from you and that you are the person to provide that or you've got the tools or the resources that they need to, to actually acquire the needs of the, whatever it is that they want. All right. So at the end of the day, if you are not reaching people enough with your content, if you're not reaching people enough with, um, you know, stuff that they can share or put stuff out there for people to, to know who you are, you're continuously going to be repeating yourself every single day. And no one is really going to know you and no one is really going to ultimately purchase your stuff. You know? It's, it's, it's not easy, um, I know, to, to, to wake up every single day and put out content, but if you're not putting something out every single day in all the different variable channels that we have, you know, like maybe a blog on, on WordPress or whatever platform you're using for your blog or a video and explain a video on YouTube or on Vimeo or Wistia, I don't know what you use, or any of the social networks that we have, Twitter and Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever. If you are not connecting with at least two, three different people every single day, I think you're not growing enough. And, and those people, like I always say, it takes six to seven times for somebody to actually realize that, you know, you're the right kind of person for whatever it is that you say you are doing. And if you are not creating an ecosystem that is filled up with content that they can look at videos, photos, quotes, um, you know, blogs or vlogs or whatever it is, then you're missing out on prospective clients that might be searching for you. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, the way that I'm, I, I continuously, you know, say that it has to be now like a media company is because at the end of the day, you still got to distribute that content as well. 
All right. So if you put something out on uh, on Facebook. You have to make sure that you create something that translates on other channels because you never know where your customers are searching. All right. This then makes you into a broadcaster. Like right now, this is a Facebook video that I'm just going off a whim, but I'm recording it and it also then can become a podcast. All right. So if somebody doesn't have time to watch a video like this, they can always tune in and listen to the podcast. All right. So I think a few weeks ago I put out um, hundred lists or hundred, um, you know, list PDF that has ways in which you can actually create content. If you're interested in knowing more about that, just type in content at the bottom so that I can send you through um, the PDF for you to, um, you know, see what sort of different versions of content that you can create. You don't have to keep copying and pasting other people's stuff it's now time for you to actually create and relate for the people that will actually ultimately pay you for your services all right it's really up to you guys you know what i mean you've got a chance to actually earn people's attention you have a chance to to convert them and convert that audience into a community that actually loves your stuff because once you have that community, they become loyal buyers. They become, you know, loyal people that ultimately would refer other people to your service and your work becomes effortless. All right. David Peary. Maswera, I am going to TV for a not two every day. You know, so it is a gradual process, guys. The fact, the sooner you admit that you have become First of all, a media house. Then second of all, whatever line of work you're doing, the easier it would be for you to actually start stepping up to the show and, you know, producing content that will help people get to know, like, and trust you. All right. Like I said, attention these days is very, very crucial. All right. The more attention you can get on your stuff, the more it translates into you know, um, you know, conversions. And that's how people are actually making headway in their business these days. All right. Because at the end of the day, if you are not creating and relating to the people that will pay for you, how are they going to know your existence? All right. There's so much content going through their newsfeed every single day. And if you're not getting anyone's attention, then your business is as good as just good in your hard drive. So many websites are on the market right now. So many blogs and etc. etc. But no one is broadcasting them or putting it out there for people to get to learn from you and know who you are. I know it's a process. It takes a little bit of money and it requires attention and care. But you just have to keep pressing on and make sure that at least somebody every single day knows about your product and can, you know, you know, regurgitate whatever it is that you are selling. Yeah. There's no point in you starting a business and having a really, really great product and, you know, having all the customers that can purchase it. If you cannot move it or if you cannot get people to know you, like you and eventually buy from you or even just trust you enough to recommend you to somebody else so that that person can make a purchase you know i know we are all ready we have all the goods what don't you have you know back in the time you would need to have an established studio you would need to have really fancy cameras right now as we speak i'm talking to you from my iphone 7 phone using this as a mic and recording this um, with, um, you know, in, onto a podcast of which this video, I'm going to take it off of Facebook, plug it onto YouTube. And then from YouTube, I will embed it onto a blog so that it also has generated another piece of content. And maybe in the future, it will be regurgitated as little sound bites. All right. So if every single day you are not doing anything to reach out to new prospects, to to a new market or to a new audience, it's it's going to be really difficult. All right. And also, once you are in the game, you already know who is a major player within the game. Take your media house, which is your business outside by maybe, um, you know, creating uh 
guest blogs for other people, featuring on people's podcasts. You know what I mean? All those things, they're effortless. Or these days there's B, um, what do they call it? BeLive.tv. All right. You can actually use it. Um, Tim Vera says you're firing me up. Grow or die or no other way. Awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. All right. You know, there's those, um, there's that website, BeLive.tv. Find people that, that you know you respect. Ask them to come and create something with you. All right. So at the end of the day, once you've got, you know, a, a guest post or, you know, a, um, a guest featured person on that on, 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 on your on your Facebook, that person might have an audience that you can tap into and you can cross pollinate those audiences. All right. You instantly borrow their authority and then it makes it easy for those people that have just watched you for the first time to know who you are, to get to trust you and get to figure out what other content you have. Because I'm telling you this, why? People are rushing to go in and create ads on Facebook. Okay, somebody likes the ad, somebody likes the funnel, but it takes six to seven times for somebody to see your stuff and then they convert. Unless you've got really, really good copy, you've got really, really good authority, you've got really, really good credibility, and your story is very convincing that people will just you know, see you first and then instantly convert. So content is now going to help you, you know, you know, marinate that person while they're being nurtured. Okay. You can do that through, um, you, you know, the, the, the photos that you take about yourself to solidify the fact that you are actually living and breathing that life that you talk about. All right. So, or you can be featured on other people's guest posts. You know, the more that somebody also vouches for you as a person of credibility, it actually makes you a head and shoulders above, above those people that are not even trying to reach out to other people to connect. Because we might be doing this all online, but all business transactions are done in person, guys. So the only way you can actually convey that story is becoming that media house that's producing content so that people get to know you, like you, and then they trust you. All right. Samantha said, that is awesome. Doing all those platforms at once. Uh, Facebook, YouTube and podcast. Exactly. This this whole video is actually going to be translated into three or four different pieces of content. All right. From an iPhone 7 that has been recorded off of headphones because you need that for 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 the sound to to sound out properly. Otherwise, it will be an echo. All right. So it's, 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 it's not that difficult, guys, to actually create and, and, and relate to the people that you're talking to every single day. You know, a couple of notes prior, if you actually know who your customer is, if you actually know what their problem is, because every single day I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out what is the biggest problem that people are facing. And the really big problem that people are facing that I know is they're not creating enough. Because some of you guys, your business, the moment you stop working in it, it's done. Nobody would even know you existed. The, the moment you stop working on your Facebook today, nobody would even know you existed. But if you're putting content out there, you, you are like Hansel and Gretel when um, I think there's that story where they left pebbles on their way up there. You will now find people that will be picking on that at their own time. Because not everyone has time to watch a 30 minute video like this, but like what Samantha just did a little bit earlier on, I did a video, I think about, you know, a week ago or so, and she referenced it today and we were talking and joking about it. That stuff that I did last week, you know, I don't have to repeat myself to, to her or anybody else that's watching right now. You know why? Because they already know me. They already know how I deliver. All they're just waiting for is a little bit of a different, um, you know, piece of content that I might put out. All right. So you being the media house, audit yourself. What are you really good at? And then, you know, focus on that mainly. My biggest thing is I can talk. I can talk for hours and hours and hours. So that's what I'm going to take advantage of. All right. So if I take this video off of Facebook, it can then be transcribed, um, you know, either by a VA or that um, website. What is it called? Trans, um, transcription Puppy or Rave.com. And it becomes a blog. 
That is already another, um, you know, piece of content that other people can latch on to. Because people are coming to the internet to get information. And if you're not providing that information, how are they going to know that you're the person that can solve their own particular problem? How are they going to know your existence? Like I said, some people right now, the people that I work with, their business, if they stop working in it today, it ceases to exist. Create a business that at least transcends and lasts for the next two weeks at least. You know what? Because people are still watching your content from last week. Because if you keep, you know, you know, trading on water, you, you will soon get tired. What's going to happen on the day that you don't feel well? When you don't have content for people to be reading about you, you cease to exist. Out of sight, out of mind. I, I know Ngoma David Piri, you would know out of this. You would know about this. Out of sight, out of mind. You know? So try and, and connect with people that are probably in your sort of and um, you know environment. Like I did a little bit earlier on. If you see my post, I, I'm looking for web designers that have clients that have probably you know stopped paying them or there's no continuity within their business. Now, now that's where my service comes in. My service is to help people's websites get, get visible on, 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 on Google or stuff like that using SEO strategies. All right. So that's why I want to partner with web uh, developers so that I can revive those clients of theirs that are already dead to them, but are still viable. So find somebody within your own industry that can actually that has your clients right now. Somebody within your industry has a, a, a list of people that you can tap into. All right. So what you could do is maybe guest post for that person or you could actually, um, you know, feature on their podcast. You could actually feature on their live feed or whatever it is. Or maybe, um, you know, you know, with, with Snapchat on their story. I don't know how you're going to do it, but figure out how you can put your stuff out there so that you're not just a one click wonder. Remember, you are now a media house. Figure out how to distribute your content in such a way that your business transcends the next week, transcends weeks to come. You know, even whenever you go to, 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 to events or to networking uh, groups, if somebody comes to you and says, hey, so you're prosper. Um, how can I find you online? And then you're like, oh, no, um, you know, let me let me write it down for you. No. Get to a stage where people will be like, I'll, I'll Google you. You know, get to a stage where people would be like, I forgot his name, but let me see what he's talking about. Prosperity blueprint, 500 pages about your stuff from guest posts, from posts from yourself, from Facebook, all that stuff. Create your own digital footprint if you really want to stay alive and afloat. David Peary says, you're right. People will forget you and... <laughs> Out of sight, out of mind. Whenever you meet new people, guys, make sure, you know, if you, if you haven't started blogging or if you haven't started putting out videos, if you haven't started doing anything, try and do it within the confines of maybe a group or something. Put something out there. All right? Even, even if it's not a matter of, of, of us being human, even animals, they have mating calls, animals, they have, you know, all those sounds to be heard, you know, you can't just be heard because your name is David, just because your name is Prosper, or just because your name is Sally, or you're Samantha, nobody cares, you've got to make people care by actually giving stuff of value in exchange of their attention, all right, so obviously maybe today's um, uh, call was a little bit I don't know, haphazard, but all I'm just really trying to say is before you become your business, and if you really want to survive in this social media landscape, you really got to figure out how you are going to roll. All right. What does Katy Perry say in her song? You got to roll, you know, because if you're not being heard, if you're not putting content out there, if you're not creating and relating to the people you're expecting money from, they're going to forget you the moment you stop producing. All right. I hope this video has been um, as good because I enjoyed working on it. We already have the tools, guys. We don't need to search or search for a lot more things. You can take a few photos, explain behind the scenes. We've got video cameras on our phones. 
you don't need to hire expensive equipment. We already have the, the, the know-how. We already know how to speak. Heck, I had to learn English and English is not my first language. You know, it doesn't have to cost you a fortune. And with creative thinking and, you know, new tips that I've just maybe put out here, you can actually grow your business more quickly. Choose what tactics would be. You will feel most at, at home because some other industries, it will be stupid to show up on, your, on, on a live feed every single day, you know. But with marketing, there is so much we can talk about. That's why I've made it consistent that every day at 2 p.m. I come around and we talk. So you want to plan properly so that you're not going to burn out. You also don't have to really be afraid of stepping a little bit outside the comfort zone. Because if you don't step outside the comfort zone, you are not going to be known. All right. So you could stay in your comfort zone as much as you want. But I don't think anyone is going to come and knock on your house's door and say, David, John, Peter, it's time. All right. I'm more than happy to help you. If you've got any questions, let's uh, continue this conversation in the bottom there. But remember, guys, out of sight, out of mind. And you don't want to be that person. Have a good day, guys.